we're never going to know exactly what's in this pigeon's head, what's going on in here, why she wants to go home, how she finds the shortest way home. And that's maybe the nicest thing of the pigeon sport. It's like the orientation. It could be the magnetic field of the earth. It could be the place of the sun. As soon as they know the sun is on the east side or on the west side, we know which way to go to find our way home. And there are also some points they recognize during the flight home. Like I say, it could be a big building, it could be a highway. So, but there's still a few things that we don't know about the pigeons. How can they orientate? Like a race is 900 kilometers, for example, to go home. But a pigeon can easily fly 1,000 or 1,100 kilometer to find that way home. So you see on the list, this race is 900 kilometers, but the pigeon flew maybe 1,200 kilometers, so 300 kilometers more. So we don't know that. We're waiting at home before our pigeon arrives. And then she doesn't tell us if she flew 900 kilometers or 1,200. I just told you it's the position of the sun. It could be a recognition on the floor when the pigeon is flying high in the sky. He sees a big highway, he sees a big tower, some buildings. The coastline is also important, but it's also the magnetic field. But there may be many, many other things that a pigeon uses to find his shortest way home. It could be also the good motivation that a pigeon fancier gives to his pigeons. If I try to motivate my pigeons to, to find the shortest way home, to go home as quick as possible, I wish you good luck and many, many pleasure moments with your pigeons. Bye-bye.